then the last one for you here, Woj, uh, on the last dance. Um, you had Jerry Krause on your pod uh, before he passed away. What do you make of how Krause is uh, coming across in this in this documentary so far and what we can pretty much sense what might be coming? I know Jason Hare was on this show on Monday and said that there will be some table pounders on behalf of Krause that, uh, that, that see some light of day in this doc. Uh, I'm wondering what you think. I, I haven't watched it yet, Rich. You haven't? I haven't watched it. Um, so I will, I'm sure, at some point. But I have heard the, you know, I've seen the reporting and um, some of the fallout of it. And, and I did have Jerry Cross on the podcast. I went to his house about six weeks maybe before he passed away. And uh, uh, the podcast, I think it's June, early June 2000, was it so, it was 17 17 or 16, is when he passed away yes it was, but mm-hmm. but but i haven't i haven't watched it yet so i don't have the context of how so I, i'm i'm afraid to uh jump into sure how well, he's been well i mean i can tell it's been not well yeah, i can tell that from yeah him. i mean it, yeah. look it, it, the the thing that is coming across to me is kraus was only doing what reinsdorf kind of hired him to do woge right i mean so um, it, 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 it's coming across like he insisted Phil's got to go or he couldn't get along. And uh, I'm, I'm, you know, that, that's basically how it's going right now. Yeah, I think it's like anything else, Rich. I think two things could be true. He did an incredible job putting this team together, the parts, the pieces, how they fit from coach, from coaching staff to uh, putting Tex Winter with – Tex Winter with Phil Jackson in a system. Mm-hmm. And then obviously all the moves around Michael Jordan that were made. And then when Jordan retired, he came back, he, he built a second team around him. And on the back end, he was too anxious for it to end. And he was too uh, desirous of credit and wanting. And like both can be true because these things are always complex and it's never good versus bad. But I think, Listen, they all needed each other. Like, none of this would have happened without all of them. And, um, but I understand, you know, I think in Krauss, um, it was always hard for him. He was always going to be treated like an outsider on that group. And I think for the organization and, like, Phil Jackson, the players, they liked finding an enemy, a villain. Mm-hmm. And in real time then, we know uh, that's what they did with Jerry Krauss. They made him – that was the, their rallying cry was against Jerry Krauss. And so – I think Jackson and Jordan found value in that to push the team. And um, I think in some ways, Krause was collateral damage in that. And, and I think I saw the Steve Kerr quote where he said, he, he said all those things I just said, he incredible, deserves incredible credit, but sometimes Jerry couldn't get out of his own way, and I agree with that too. Well, Woj, when you do get around to it, it's a, it's a fascinating watch. I'll tell you that. Oh, I'm sure it is. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, um, I know I'll see it down the road. Okay. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.